Good afternoon. We're continuing with the laws of Purim. We're on Tafresh Sadihe Gimel, 695.3, and we're talking about the laws of benching on Purim, the laws of Birkas Amazon, thanking Hashem after we eat. So we'll see that there might be some issues and very interesting cases that come up. Aymer al Hanisim Bebirchos Amazon. So when one benches on Purim, he should say al Hanisim. Al Hanisim is a special prayer. We thank Hashem for, for the miracles that He did for us on, on Purim. Now what happens, this is very usually what happens, you start the Purim meal when it's still Purim on the 14th of Adar, and you finish at night after the Purim meal. So should you say al When you started the meal, it was Purim. But when you finish the meal, it wasn't Purim anymore. So what do you do? So Aymer al The Basar Tchilas Suda Azlinan. So the Shulchan Aruch here says, the first opinion is, you should say al because when it comes to benching, we go after the beginning of the meal, and since the beginning of the meal started when it was still Purim, you should say al However, there's another opinion that says you shouldn't say it, because when you're benching, it's not Purim anymore, so you shouldn't say al So it says the Ramah, we go like the first opinion, so the first opinion holds, so practically what we do is, we say... Uh, we say al even though when we finish the Purim meal, very often it's at night, and it's not technically Purim anymore. But since we started the meal when it was Purim, we still say al the special prayer for Purim. Let's see the Mishnah Bura. Tesvav. V'im shachach leimar al So now, what happens on Purim if you forget to say al You forget to say. Right? There's different laws if you forget to say different uh, special blessings or special prayers on the holidays. <clears throat> so yesh omer de machzir no so. So some say you should go back and you have to bench again. Yesh omer dein machzir no so. And some say you don't go back and bench again. So we have a machlokus. We have a debate. Usav brachos lahakil. So since we have a debate here, so the rule is whenever you have a debate whether to make a blessing or not, you don't do it. It's called suffik brachos lahakil because we don't want to say a blessing that we don't have to do. It could involve an issue of saying God's name in vain. So. Practically, if you, if you forgot to say al and benching on Purim, you do not go back and repeat benching. He says that <coughs> there's only a debate on the first meal you eat at Purim, but the second meal that you eat on Purim, let's say you had two meals, so the second meal, since you already ate a meal on Purim, there, there, everyone agrees that you don't go back. There's a special harachaman after, um, you'll see in a lot of the benchers it has this. You you just say, I think all the benchers have it, you just say the harachaman for, uh, for perm at the end of benching, but you do not go back. So practically... If someone forgets al anisim and benching on Purim, you do not go back to bench again. So this year, Purim is on Friday. Now what happens if you started the meal on Purim, like this year, it's on Friday, and you had such a long meal that you ended the meal when it's Shabbos? So what do you say? So so since you were finished the meal on Shabbos, you have to say Ritze. Ritze is the blessing we add into benching for Purim. But we have it, uh, sorry, for Shabbos, but we have an issue. But if I mention Shabbos in my benching, how can I mention al which is on Purim? It's called the Tarti Desasre, right? So you start the meal on Friday, and you finish the meal on Shabbos. So if, so if I mention al in benching, then I'm saying today is Purim. On, on the 14th of Adar. But if I say Ritzay, then I'm saying today is Shabbos, which is the 15th of Adar. So I'm making a, an internal contradiction in my benching. So what do we do? So the cave in the Enas Karas Alanisim Chamar Kokach Lechen Yomar Rakshal Shabbos. So since the saying of Alanisim is not so Chamar, it's not so serious, we say it, we leave it out and we just say Ritzay. So if a person this year, for some reason, starts his uh, Purim meal and he continues until it's night already, it's after Shabbos, when he benches, then he has to say Ritzay and does not say Al Hanisim. And again, if, if someone's meal goes on that long, there's other issues involved also about making Kiddush and whatnot. Now, all of this is when you didn't daven yet, but for sure, if you daven Marv beforehand. He says, if you daven Marv already, you shouldn't say al because if you daven Marv, you're saying that it's the new day already, and since it's uh, it's the new day and it's already Shabbos, so you say Ritzay and you don't say al 
Omer Alanism, Yesh Omerim Davka Kashal is Pal Arvis Adayan. Of Kashal is Pal and Shuv Eno Omer Alanism, Yesh Omerim, the Bechal Gavne Omer, Valkane. So now there's another debate we mentioned earlier. Forget that was about Shabbos until now, when, when, when Purim goes into Shabbos. Now let's say a regular year. A regular year, Purim doesn't go into Shabbos. So we said, even though you start your meal during the daytime and it goes till night, we said you, st- we said you still say Alanism because your meal. Uh, started when it was still perm. However, we did mention this debate about it. Now we're adding another component. What if you daven marv in the middle of your meal? You daven the evening service. So if you daven the evening service, you daven marv in your meal, you're making a statement that it's the next day. The next day is starting. So how can you say, still say alanisim, which refers to the previous day of perm, if you said it's marv, if you daven marv, and you're saying it's the next day. So what do you do? So he says, One should make sure to bench on perm, before he davens marv, because if you bench after you daven marv, it's uh, very problematic to say alanisim. It's problematic if you can say alanisim. Let's ask me with plukta. So to not get involved in this machlokas, if one could say alanisim after marv, you should bench before davening marv. Now, if you wanted, this is something you can do. So let's say people want to daven at the regular time in shul. So near kishet. He says, what you should do is this. Let's say you're in the middle of the perm meal and people want to daven marv. So what you should do is you should bench. You should daven marv uh, at the shul at the regular time when people are benching. And then after, you can go back and still rejoice in the perm meal. Because he says, technically, the mitzvah to rejoice on perm is two days, the 14th of Adar and the 15th of Adar. So in order not to get involved in this machlokas, you should daven, you should bench first, and then daven marv, and then you could go continue and rejoice in the per meal. So, okay, just to summarize what we learned today, if one starts the per meal on perm and finishes when it's not perm anymore, he should still say al hanisim because he started the meal when it was still perm. Uh, if he should make sure to bench before davening marv, because if one davens marv before he benches, then there's an issue if he can still say al hanisim. And we also learned that if someone on Friday starts the meal and it goes into Shabbos, he should say Ritzay and not say Alanism. Okay? Wishing everyone a beautiful day. And if anyone has any questions or comments, as always, please feel free to send me a text, email, or give me a call.